So today I'll be asking the age old question of which is better, male or female marketed razors? As you can see, I'll be working with about seven days of growth here. So I'll be starting off with a simple zero buzz cut. And what I'm doing is splitting my head right down the middle so that I can test one razor on one side of my head and one on the other. So I'll be using the female razor on the left side of my head, which is so aptly named Flamingo, because as we all know, flamingos are pink and women love pink. The Flamingo razor comes out of the near 10 year old brand, Harry's, and the company claims to have designed the Flamingo razor to cater to the unique female needs, specifically the contours and curves. So right now I'm just having a little fun getting my hair buzzed down to that zero level so that it's a bit easier when it comes time to do the shave. So here you can see the split difference. Um, not too bad of a job here. So here's just a quick look at the Flamingo razor. You can see the lovely pink handle. It's pretty grippy and nice. This is the Flamingo gel. I will say that it expanded to nearly four or five times its size. Um, I found it to be very rich, um, thick, and it really stuck in place. The razor itself has a lovely aloe vera strip for some extra hydration and some ultra sharp blades. It has a fairly flexible hinge, but it did snag my hairs um, fairly frequently. And I found that the blades got quite clogged with the shaving cream. Uh, which may have been more of a shaving cream problem than an actual blade problem. This may have worked really well if you were in the shower or in the tub. So now I'm going to use my trusty toner from The Ordinary just to clean everything up and try and prevent some extra bumps. Um, I did find this was quite painful, meaning there were several micro abrasions. You can see some of the redness on the back of my scalp. Um, and this was bleeding as well. Okay, so now it's time for the male razor for the right side of my head. So again, I'm going to buzz down to a zero level for consistency. So this way I can have a pretty clear comparison from my right to my left. So Harry's is a male targeted brand, which states that their goal is to make grooming easier, more affordable and more enjoyable. And as they say, that's why they are growing their line of finely tuned essentials based on what guys really want. So here's just a quick comparison of the male and female razor. And of course, we have our black color coated shave gel, which was surprisingly a very different consistency. It was not as thick. Um, it moved around a lot more, um, but it also didn't clog the razor as much. The razor itself has a small aloe strip, rubberized handle, flex hinge, and the same ultra sharp blades as the Flamingo razor. I didn't find the razor pulled as much on my hair and it was actually a really smooth experience. Now I will say that after doing research into the brand, they do have a disclaimer that states that their blades are designed for your face and not for your head. I dug into this further and I really couldn't find any good reasons not to. The only thing I could see is that the razor head does pop off pretty easily. So here I am again with my toner, checking to see how much pain I'm in. And I did have quite a bit less pain. There was no bleeding and a lot less redness than I had on the flamingo side. And finally, here I am just finishing off with some castor oil to lock in some moisture and help my scalp repair. And voila. You have the finished product.